Importing leads that you've obtained from a mailing list, trade show, or other source is an easy task in Sage CRM. In this tutorial, we'll show you how it's done, so let's jump right in and get started. Let's first take a look at the lead screen and review the fields available for uploading. Fields denoted by an asterisk are required, so your upload file must include data to populate these fields at a minimum. You can upload data to any of the other fields on this screen, whether they are a text field, selection list, date, or search select field. Note that the person first and last names and phone and fax country code, area code, and phone numbers exist in separate fields, so the information in your upload file should be formatted in this manner. So now let's open an example Excel file that we'll use to import our leads. Note that you can upload from a CSV file as well. Your file should include column headers, which will make it much easier to map your fields as you'll see later in this tutorial. Importantly, we've included all of the required fields, and also, notice that we match the format on the lead screen by putting the first and last names in separate fields, and the same for the area code and phone number. Notice that we've included a date field that will populate the open field on the leads. In a later step, Sage CRM will ask us the date format that we're using here. The main product interest and assigned to fields are selection list fields. Main product interest has five available selections. For a selection list, you'll need to enter the database code for the selection. To find the code, go to Administration, Customization, Lead, and the Fields tab. Here you'll find all of the fields on the lead screen. Scroll through the list to find the field you need, and in this case we're looking for Main Product Interest, and we'll click on Selection. And clicking on a selection reveals the database code. Write down the codes that you need and enter these in your import file as we've already done here. Now let's look at the Assigned To field. This is a list of your CRM users, and this field is handled differently than other selection lists. Here you'll enter your selections exactly as they appear on the lead screen, rather than using a database code. As you can see, we've entered Susan May for the first and second leads, and John Finch for the third. If you're going to assign all of the leads in the import file to one user, you can omit the Assign to User field and select the user at a later step in this process. So now we're ready to begin the lead upload. We'll return to Sage CRM, and from this point on, you'll need Info Admin Data Rights. We'll go to Administration, Data Management, Data Upload. Here you'll select whether you're uploading companies and their contacts, contacts not related to companies, or leads. For our example, We'll select Lead and click Continue and New. The first step on this screen is to browse for your import file, which we'll find on the desktop. Let's enter a description that identifies the source of the file. In this case, we'll say Time Management Trade Show. You may recall that one of the fields we're importing contains the upload date. In the date field here, we need to select the format that we used in our import file and we'll select month, day, year. Before the final step of committing to the upload, you'll be shown a preview of how the imported data will appear. Here you're able to specify the number of rows that will be shown in the preview. Let's set this to three. By checking Make a Group, the system will automatically create a group or list that will allow you to easily include all of the imported leads in your marketing campaigns. The lead description is the description that will appear on the lead summary screen and will enter Time Management Trade Show. The Assigned To Team is a required field and will select Telesales. You can assign leads to a territory, but we'll leave it set to None for this example. You can assign users to all of the uploaded leads. However, if you want to assign specific leads to specific users, you'll need to make those assignments within the import file, as we've done in this example. So we'll leave this field set to None, and the assignments will be made via the import file. In this tutorial, 
Our leads were collected at a trade show booth and we've set this up as a marketing activity in Sage CRM. We'd like to associate the imported leads with this marketing activity so we can track the results. We'll do this by selecting it in the Wave Activity field. The list is pretty long, so let's enter percent, which means contains, and then we'll enter trade show and click the finder, and there's the one we're looking for. Now we can click save, and you'll receive this message that the data file will be copied to the CRM server. Note that this is not the final upload, just an intermediate step. Let's close the message, and now we're taken to the data mapping screen. The upper portion of the screen contains the fields that the system has automatically mapped. The lower portion contains the fields that we must manually map. Let's take a closer look at the mapped fields. The left side shows the column headers from our import file and actual data from our file, and the right side shows the CRM lead fields that they've been mapped to. It looks like the fields have been correctly mapped, so let's now manually map the remaining ones. We'll start with the open field and map it to the CRM lead field by clicking the link. We'll map it to the lead open field and click save. And now we'll map the main product interest field and we'll select lead main product interest and again click save. And finally, the assign to field and we'll map it to lead assign to. And notice that a new field appears. We need to use this field to tell the system the format of the user data. Looking back at our upload file, you can see that our assigned to field contains the user's first and last name, so we'll select first name, last name, and click save. If you're not ready to complete the upload, you can click save and return later to complete the import. Continuing on, we're ready to preview the data. Here you're shown how the data fields will appear following the upload. It's very important that you review this carefully since the next step commits you to the import. You have the option to use the source field on this screen to populate the source field on the leads. Alternatively, you could leave this blank and include the source information in your import file. Further, you can create a new source by selecting New and use the provided fields to set up the new source code and description. But in this case, Let's keep it simple and use the existing data import selection. And moving to the log file, we'll keep the default setting. And finally, the batch size lets you specify the number of import file rows to process at a time. Unless you're experiencing timeouts, you should leave this blank. Now let's go ahead and run the upload by clicking the button. Since our import file was very small, the upload completed very quickly. You can see that the three rows of leads in our file were successfully imported. So let's go to the main menu and use the finder to locate our new leads. We'll use the date open field and select relative and day and current and now click the finder. And there are the three leads we imported. Let's open one and as you can see all of the information from our uploaded file has been successfully imported. So to recap, Sage CRM allows you to easily upload leads and make them available for your marketing and sales efforts. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in Sage CRM. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.